Jim Maria, nearly 50 years ago, Blackhawks Hall of Famer Stan Makita helped start a hockey school for young players who were deaf or hard of hearing. Jackie Kosick takes us to the Edge Ice Arena in Bensonville, where Makita's namesake camp is still changing lives. The Stan Makita Hockey School for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing looks like a hockey camp but feels like a family reunion. It's more than hockey. It's, uh, it's the family, it's the atmosphere, it's the friends, uh, the lifelong friends that you, get, you have while you're here. And while deaf and hard of hearing players from all over the country come together for just one week every summer, many of them keep coming back. Kevin Delaney started as a hard of hearing player in 1984. Now he's the president of the organization. We have two coaches here now that were uh, original players. Part of the inaugural camp back in 1973, the idea of Chicago businessman Irv Tianabek, whose son Lex was discriminated against because he was deaf. Irv wanted to create a safe place for Lex to play hockey, so he enlisted the help of his friend, Hall of Fame Blackhawks Stan Makita. Irv said to Stan, hey, what are you doing this summer? And Stan said, I'm playing golf. He goes, no, you're not. You're running a school. Nearly 50 years later, the school still carries the hockey legend's name and has become a kind of high-level feeder school for the U.S. Deaf Olympic hockey team. I feel that because they're like me, deaf or hard of hearing, they communicate. It's easier to communicate with my friends here. Detroit native Stuart DeLang has been coming to the school for a decade. This year, DeLang will get to wrap the week playing his first international game, an exhibition against the national deaf team from Canada. The last time these two teams played was in 2019 in Chiavana, Italy at the Deaf Olympics. And United States won the gold. COVID put a pause on international deaf hockey plays, so Delaney is hoping this week serves as a jump start to bring the Deaf Olympics and World Championships back. But for now, like every year, Delaney and others are just glad to be back to that special sense of belonging. I like when I'm able to communicate with other deaf people and have friends that are deaf and hard of hearing. We're all the same here. Like family. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jackie. Delaney says about 70% of the players from that Deaf Olympic team from 2019 are returning this week with some opportunities for new younger players like Stewart involved too. The U.S. Deaf hockey team will take on Team Canada Saturday at 2.20 and Sunday at 9 a.m. at the Edge Ice Arena in Bensonville. Those games open to the public. Fine, we're rooting them on. Let's hope people support them.